Let's see now how Akamai Docker image can facilitate property development and local testing, as well as help automate Akamai related tasks in CI CD pipeline. My sample website was refactored and images changed to location. This needs to be reflected in Akamai configuration, otherwise, images won't be cached. I will show you how such change can easily be done with Akamai pipeline as well as locally tested using Akamai Sandbox before pushing the change to the repository. Afterwards, you will see how the change is automatically picked up by Jenkins and pushed eventually to Akamai network. In both cases, Akamai Docker image is heavily used to ease those tasks. You can see in my terminal two top-level folders, pipeline with source code of my property and Jenkins file, Sandboxes, used by Akamai Sandbox during local testing. Fix for image caching is already in my workspace. First, I added a separate rule for caching images and then included this rule in the main JSON file. I also added sample image URL to the test suite to ensure that it will be properly tested by the pipeline in Jenkins. I need to test this code before I push to the repository and will use Akamai Sandbox in Akamai Docker image for that task. Since multiple sandbox commands will be used, I will create long-running Docker container with all paths and config files mapped. Now I need to create a new sandbox for the property. Once the sandbox has been created, I'm gonna start it. Okay, let's check if sandbox is working and make a note of its identifier. It will be needed in future. At this point, the sandbox is using settings from the property with images not being cached. I can easily validate it by comparing XCheck cacheable response header for JavaScript asset versus image. We see that it's set to yes for the JavaScript and set to no for the image. Now I can build fixed config and deploy to the sandbox instance. If I test the same image URL, I see that the caching is enabled, which proves that the fix works as expected. The change can be committed to the repository. New commit triggers CI CD pipeline in Jenkins. It executes similar tasks I've done in my terminal, like building the config, pushing to the network, and unit testing, but it's fully automated. Let's have a look how it was set up in the Jenkins file. Almost all stages and steps defined in the pipeline are executed inside Akamai Docker container. It gives access to all functionalities offered by Akamai CLIs. The sample implementation uses Akamai Pipeline CLI to build the config, Akamai Property CLI to deploy it to Akamai Network, Akamai Purge CLI to remove content from cache before testing. This unified way of using Akamai DevOps tools doesn't involve any additional dependency management since all is encapsulated in the image. Let's have a quick look back at the pipeline that's been running. Oh, great! It finished and all tests are green. The config is fully deployed and tested. I can inspect outputs from all the steps in order to get more details on the execution of each task. Like here, you see building JSON, creating new version of the property, activation on staging network, then purge, followed by unit testing. I hope you recognize URLs used in automated tests. I used the same for manual testing in Akamai Sandbox.